What's going on everyone? Stealth Wolf here. Welcome back to episode 4. Um, well... Mm. <laughs> We're in this situation again. We just completed 2-bit hit. That's why Tommy is in uh, gang colours. Um, and now we've only got Diaz mission, which don't want to do because we're definitely going to die. And then there's Cortez mission, which possibly could die. So, hmm, I've got to be smart. I've got to be smart about this. I'm going to go to Cortez because. One, because I didn't actually think we were going to die on So Yes Sir, to be honest. I didn't... We get into a tank, and then go from there. And it's raining, so it's not really helping me control the car. That was good. Don't fall into the goddamn water. Okay. Landed on a tourist. Whoops. But just don't get in the way. Simple. Oh, he did. Oh. Hello? Hey, Leo. I got some work for you. The same Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's going to kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took, took his, his phone. phone. What do you think of that? that you killed Leo? You must have big hornet. Wanna work for me? Come by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. Mano y mano. Sir? Yes, sir. This was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. And once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... Sir, yes, sir. The end of first attempt is now this one. The start of episode four of attempt two. Oh boy. Now I could do I could do the very the very casual thing of wait until they get to a certain space so then the doors become unlocked and I can uh. But no, that's slow. And while this is a permadeath where we want everything to go as safe as possible. Oh, the game gave me full What? Did the game give me full health for the Okay, I swear to god, I didn't save or anything, and I didn't realise this mission gives you full health. Oh, you ruined everything, game. Okay, well, it, it's the game mechanic, I didn't choose it. Um, you know. Convoy, halt! What's up with the gunner? Don't know, sir. Get topside, soldier. Sir, yes, sir. Now that. Now that. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, okay. I, I apologize. I didn't realize the game was going to give me full health and full armor for this mission. I mean, I can see why they did it, because I died last time. Uh, crap. 
Huh. Okay, I apologize for that, but that is the game... Like, that, that wasn't... I didn't intentionally do that. I completely forgot. Well, actually, I didn't know that the game would give you full health and full armor for this mission. So, I apologize. Um... Like, like I said, I didn't know... Um... Damn it. Okay, well... I hope that's the only time it happens in this game. I, ap I apologize, the permadeath is now ruined. It's ruined! But I, if, if, if I was playing on PC, there's probably a, a, a mod that I could have done to, uh, you know, make it so my health stays like that. And I could probably, like, save state or something and kept my health at the same thing if I need to say it. But, look, okay, I apologize. But we're playing it how the game's actually played it, and that's a mechanic that was put into the game. I, 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 yeah, I will put my hands up. I didn't know after playing this game for 20 years, I did not know that was uh, a thing. I apologize. Um, yeah, as, as I said, if, you know, because there's not an accurate way for me to get armor back um well there's there's not a, an accurate way for me to uh you know for me to lose health and armor to get back exactly to where we need to so again i apologize but we pass sir yes sir and we didn't lose any health, so even if we did get shot in that mission, then we wouldn't have... Yeah, well, we didn't get shot in that mission anyway, so even if we did have the health that we did, we still would have passed it. But now, this is a mission that we did in the previous attempt as well, so that's why we skipped the cutscene. So after this, it's pretty much, quote-unquote, new content for this Vice City Permadeath, which means you actually get to see the cutscenes, yay! Until they get to a point where literally I keep getting to a certain point and they keep dying for a certain mission then I have to keep playing all the missions again because yeah Please got there Uh I think he's dead Yes, he's dead. Okay, cool. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> anyway, let's get back onto the thing. This one's auto side. This is a classic mission. I this this might actually be in like my top five missions in Vice City. Just because like it's it it's not just sort of like a generic I mean it is sort of a generic go here, kill this person, go here, kill this person, finish the mission kind of thing. But it's it's so it's kinda of like it's a very unique kind of like, hey, go here, kill this kind of thing. Like, they actually went, okay, well, let's actually try and change. Yeah. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. And I'm also doing this in a uh, sweet bucket-ass car. You know, from... Andreas, except it's not in like that weird blue green kind of color is it blue yeah no it's like a light blue isn't it it's been such a long time since i've paid attention to sweets car and san andreas half this new content Here. <laughs> yeah. <Are you> hiding? <laughs> Charlie Dilson.
I think so, some of these names are references to something. Um, I think Dick, yeah, Dick Tanner is a reference to um, Driver. But I think a couple of these are like dev names or something. They, 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 there's always that kind of thing. It was like it's devs or whatever. Oh, he's coming down this way. I'm not. It, it, oh, of course he's seen. He's on a bike and he's driving. My intention wasn't to, you know, sneak up on him. And also, how would he know who I am? It's like, someone's out to assassinate you. Oh, cool. Well, I'm just going to continue riding around Ocean Beach. Oh no! Mission passed! Nice! Full grand! Woo. D you crashed into me, you asshole. Right, I don't want to do Diaz's mission. Because as I said, it's... Uh, previous In previous bits, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a dick mission. It's a bit of an act actual D mission. So we're going to go do the Cuban mission. Because it's just a boat race. So that should be simple. Keep doing simple missions until we have to do a hard mission. Makes sense, right? The game, you you told me on the minimap that that was going to be a straight run through, and then you go, nope, we just put a wall here. Oh wait, did do, do they have the? Uh... No, they don't. Jesus Christ! I was wondering if they had the uh, the outfit, the coveralls outfit. Our fur? Our fur, yes. <clears throat> See, Ming? Hey, easy, puppy. This is not for me. You! You the boy? Oh, yeah. You the boy. I think so, you know. No, I don't think I do. Oh, yeah? You come here, tough guy. You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi. Look at him, all dressed up like that. What is this, ladies' night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman, too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, chico. All right, all right, I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah, like a woman. <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat. Show me you got some big cojones. And not some little, very chiquita ones. I'm Rico. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. Okay. I find it kind of funny that he that he's saying, like, Tommy's dressed up. But it's it's literally, like... <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the Cuban um, outfit. So he's insulting pretty much how all of his gang uh, dress up as well. Uh, you'll also see, uh, because of controversy and copyright and everything, well, not not so much copyright, but controversy, that you'll see some of the uh, cutscenes and it, it cutscenes, especially for the Cubans, 
in the uh, Haitian missions <coughs> that uh, that you'll definitely see some inconsistencies in the cutscenes just because they had to you know kind of edit some stuff out but they didn't really re-render or redo the cutscene so the cutscene has still got like going along the old script and everything but the uh, <coughs> yeah the the new lines or sort of the edited lines I mean, you you already kind of uh, saw it with uh, Guardian Angels, where Diaz says, "Go chase those dickheads down." In uh, in the original version, he goes chase those Haitian dickheads down. Um, I'm only I'm quoting the game. I'm quoting the game. No need to, no need to get annoyed. I'm quoting the game and sort of like the the controversy and everything. Um, I mean, it, it kind of sucks when the game has to be kind of edited, especially for the copyright reasons sort of the go round GTA, where it's like some songs have to be taken away, especially in Vice City, where you notice it because it's like Billy Jean taken away. It's like that is the first song that you hear in Vice City, pretty much, apart from um, the one in the cutscene. Like you get in a car and it's Billy Jean, but then it's just like, no, we've taken that out, and it's like, oh. And again, copyright re well, uh, sort of ending of their sort of man, copyright you thing. Man, man. I like you, man. I like you, hey, you the main man. man. So yeah, and it, it annoys me because I have the PS2 version, so I'm like, I know what the cut, and I played the PS2 version the most. So I'm like, I know what the cutscenes are meant to be like. Oh, was, was was that it? You got big gojones, okay. And yes, if you didn't know, gojones means uh, balls, testicles. <laughs> if you didn't know, huh? Funkel? That was an interesting phone call. At the end of this episode, yes, uh, we got through one, <laughs> the hardest mission, uh, and now, now we're going on to uh, new grounds in terms of the permadeath. But thank you everyone for watching uh, episode four. Let's see if we can go further than episode five, shall we? So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and peace out.